Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Popular Soccer Show Onside, which uh, is now picking up steam. The British leagues are starting to take shape. They're getting to about a quarter of the way through. Unfortunately, no British league this weekend. We've got international qualifiers, uh, and we've got qualifiers for uh, in Africa as well. And uh, Budge is with me. We're going to talk about him. But Budge, welcome. First things, let's talk about the Premiership. A bit of a review of the weekend, because there's no games this week. But uh, Arsenal, Tottenham, one each. Yeah, you know, they got chances to go go two or three up, in my opinion. Then Spurs fought back. Yeah. You know, fair result, I think, at the end. Offside goal? <laughs> you know, I don't like what Answer Spurs do. Answer the question, do. please. Definitely. Definitely. Now, it's hard going there. Going to Arsenal is not easy, so we're happy to come away with the point. Now, Liverpool. Now, they're rolling on, but I did laugh when I saw an analogy of Liverpool. Liverpool are like an elephant up a tree. You wonder what they're doing up there. You know they're going to come down soon. Yeah. Don't know if they're going to come down soon, Paul. Very impressive. Of Very good side. Eh? Yeah, Go for it. Nice but side. they got goals uh, at, you know, just uh, every time they got a chance, they scored. Yeah. It, it, I don't think it was a good performance by the opposition. Sure. But they've picked up a good few home wins now. Yeah, I think, And I'm, Watford had a good record going into this game. Yeah, they did, Paul. But Liverpool, the pace, and they, yeah, they the come pace, from everywhere. The pace. They're going to lose uh, one of their players over Christmas, aren't That's they? That's Mane, yeah. Mane. He's a great player. Well, he's in South Africa this weekend, so hopefully he doesn't perform. Just try to get him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know I did speak to uh, John Barnes about coming on our show. Okay. Very keen. Good. Very keen to come down on the show. Right. Man City, Middlesbrough. Now, this is, is got to be, uh, this was what made the pick, uh, exotic, so play, exotic yeah. play, the soccer 10 and soccer 6 and whatever it is. Man City were in control yeah. and the Middlesbrough back in. Oh, Paul, you know, you won the lap cruising. If you don't get the second, you always give the teams last few minutes, throw the ball in the box. And we know defensively City aren't too good. And over yeah. it came and head of the far post, won all. Uh, Middlesbrough haven't been bad. Well, they drew at well, Arsenal. Yeah, they, they beat Arsenal. Bournemouth. Yeah, they've got plenty of fighting spirit now. Yeah, and they played with that uh, that, uh, that 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 guy, the Mexican surname, the guy who scored that wonder goal. Uh, Ramirez or is it Traore? I think Ramirez. Ramirez, yeah, yeah left back. Played, yeah. He went an amazing, yeah. Yeah, went an amazing run. Okay, Chelsea are looking good. Everton looked woeful. Yeah, but you know, Paul, Chelsea looked, formed two seasons ago. You yeah. know, Hazard's turning up, so is Costa. Yeah. Strong at the back, very creative. I think they'll be hard to beat. A good format, the three at the back. They've, they've really taken it to the next mm. step. A lot of teams are playing three at the back, but yeah. they've taken it to the next level because they've got my mate on the left side and they've got Moses. Hasn't he come through? Yeah, he's done great, yeah. Him and Pedro have surprised me. Yeah. You know, Paul, the experience has been around a long time. And, you know, Pedro was in the World Cup team of Spain that won South yeah. Africa a couple of years ago. So yes. They've got plenty of experience. I think he's played over 300 games for Barcelona. And, you and know, Marcus Alonso scored. You know, yeah. He just looks like a galloper. Paul, he just gives balance to the team. I think he's yeah. a clever player. Yeah. You know, he just gives the ball to Hazard when he wants it. He never doesn't sell him down the river. Yes. Gets it back and they keep the ball. But a lot of experience. You know, so side. I think they'll be favourites to win it. Do, do you think uh, the, the manager of Conte should be on sedatives? He goes dilly when they yeah. get a goal. You but think? he's done that all his career when he was at Juventus. He right? did the same thing oh, so Italy in the it. World Cup. That's how he is. Okay, lovely. Let's look at uh, Bournemouth getting beat by Sunderland. We said when I showed that Sunderland yeah. going to win a game soon. Very lucky, Paul. The Were keeper they? was superb. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they fought hard for it. They've got uh, centre forward that Yakubu. Yeah. He signed him. So he just a little bit behind him. Yeah, they were Help. due to get a result, yeah. but the keeper kept them in it. Okay, then Swansea, Man United. Now, Man United were three up. Yeah, three up. You know, Pogba scored a screamer. Yeah, you screamer. Zlatan scored the next two, but Swansea were terrible. They were woeful. And then terrible. Budge, they had a good patch. When they got a goal back, they could have got a second. Yeah. And then it wouldn't have looked so good for United. Because yeah. it aren't that far drift. They've got 18 points. They, 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 Probably six behind Arsenal, who we play next week. They fourth Arsenal, so crucial game. game. Crucial game. That's true. Okay. And then... Uh, Hull City, well, a good Jeez. result for them. Likewise, bit of luck. Yeah, Snodgrass came off the bench, yeah. you know, scored one, made one, but they were hanging on at the death. Southampton yeah. were just slinging everything in and they couldn't equalise. That's what I was watching, uh, the, the boys. Okay, let's go on to uh, this week. Very interesting. And it's the, the betting here, and we, we thank, obviously, track and ball for the betting. Yeah. It's 90 minutes. 90 minutes, So, yeah. So uh, win, lose and draw, 90 minutes. And yeah. the, these are the... The figures we've got for these games. And let's start with some of these teams. But, but what's an interesting stat? I want you to read that stat out. We're only dealing with a certain amount of games. Yeah. Because there's, what, about eight, nine teams there? Well, Paul, there's ten games that are we have eliminated from the schedule. 
Because if you take this 10-timer, Germany, Italy, Turkey, Spain, Cyprus, Hungary, Portugal, Belgium, Netherlands and Switzerland, you take all those 10 teams, to win. Comes to, all to win, to, comes to 8 to 10. <laughs> wow. So they well, Some of them are 1 to 100. And so, so we've eliminated them off the betting yes. of our previews. So we've got... I think it's 14, we'll go okay, through. Okay, let's go through them. The first one is uh, Armenia at 5-2 to two against Montenegro at 11-10. Yeah, you know, Armenia haven't won a game. Three smacks in a row. Montenegro joined top with Poland. I like Montenegro of the two teams, but you know at home, Paul, these teams yeah. have a full go, but of the two teams, I like Montenegro. Okay, and then... Uh, France 1-4 to four yeah. beat Sweden. Sweden yeah. not a bad side. Not a bad side. That's where Zlatan came from. Yeah, he? he's not in the squad now, but uh, you'd, you'd expect France at home. They've both got seven points joint top. Will all, you, all the Pogbas and all of them go back there? Yeah, they're playing Griezmann. They're all in the squad this week. There should be too much yeah. Payet at home for Sweden. Yeah, Payet. Uh, there's a Spurs boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Northern Ireland with Carl Lafferty up front. Carl Laff up front, yeah. Laff up front. Northern Ireland against Azerbaijan. Well, you've got to fancy Northern Ireland at home. You know, Azerbaijan have played three group games, haven't conceded a goal. Oh. Where uh, They're two points ahead of Ireland, but Northern Ireland got beat in Germany their last game. Yeah. So yeah. you'd expect them to beat Azerbaijan, but okay. it won't be easy. Czech Republic, Norway? Yeah, Czech Republic been disappointing. They haven't scored in the three group games. Norway, mediocre side. And if ever Czechs have got to get back into the qualifying... They round, have this, to win. They've got to win. They've got to score no, a goal. Got to score. Got to score a goal if they want to win. Okay, Denmark 1-4 to four against Kazakhstan. Yeah, another inconsistent team, but you'd expect them to beat Kazakhstan. Yeah, sure. Those, they're, they're a short. Okay, Romania, Poland. I do enjoy Poland. I think they play a good brand of football. Yeah. Romania in the betting at home. Yeah, they're at home. Always hard to beat these teams at home, Paul. Yeah. They're third in the group, can't afford to get beat. Because remember, only the winners qualify automatically. Eight of the second runners-up go into playoffs. Okay. And Poland, a joint top with Montenegro. Who's a great striker? That's Lewandowski. Very good player. Yeah, top player. Very the only problem player. for Poland is his assistant, Milik, who's at, uh, at Napoli. He's out, so he won't be playing. But they've got plenty of players to yeah. replace him, but not of that quality. That'll be a close game. Close game. And a game that always stirs a bit of the blood is England versus Scotland. Now, yeah. is it at Wembley? Yep. Now, England are 3-10. to 10. Yeah. When were they lost 3-10 to 10 to win yeah. a soccer match? Uh, against Scotland, 8-1, to 7-2 to the draw. Have the, uh, the Scottish brave people got a chance? Brave heart. You know, this is tailor-made for the Scots, you know. Yeah. They, yeah. C- can they... Get a draw? Could be. Just depends who plays up front for England, you know. Who do I don't, you think will play I think Vardy will play up front with Walcott. Just, you Kane, never know. Kane played a, a bit Kane of football played, there. And what about uh, Daniel Sturridge? Sturridge, you know, he's been on the bench for Liverpool. He's been on the bench. Kane's yeah. not fit. Kane's not fit. You know, I don't know if Rooney, Vardy's been on the bench. Yeah, he has been. Yeah. Rooney's been on the bench. You know, when you look at all their strikers, they are not automatics anymore. Yeah. Kane would be if he's fit. Yeah. Right. So we're going to go England. Slovakia, Lithuania. Three to ten Slovakia. Yeah, it should be too good. Lithuania have improved of late. Yeah. But uh, you've got a fancy Slovakia. Now here's an interesting game. Now this is Austria versus the Republic of Ireland. Mm. Now this is uh, a, a game where I think the uh, Republic of Ireland could, could get a draw. Well, they've got to get a draw. You know, Austria have started off badly. They've only got four points from the three group games. That's an Artovic's team. Yes. David Alaba. Good team. I think there'll be plenty of goals in this game. Okay. Republic of Ireland, a better side than Northern Ireland? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. Phil Georgia against yeah. Moldova. Uh, it should be a comfortable win. Moldova, one of the poorer teams in Europe. Okay, I see the 6-1. to one. Croatia, a good team. I like watching them, but they yeah. play the happy clappers. Yeah, Iceland. Iceland you know, a, team a lot of people never... are getting into this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Croatia, a good team. I don't know if Modric is going to play. Is that right? Yeah, he's been had an injury. There's a couple of good players. Is oh, it? There's no. another Perisic. No, they got yeah. Rakitic. Top Rakitic is the way you're thinking of. They got, they got a few yeah. good strong good favourites, but that team won't give in Iceland. Now, Wales had a wonderful uh, European tournament. Yeah, but it's the 13 to 10 to win at home. Is that not a bit of a price? Or do you think Serbia can give them a game? Yeah, well, they tossed two points in last game. Yeah. Wales. Fortunately, Oren Ramsey comes back. Yes, but uh, Serbia have started off well. That's yeah. the Matic, Ivanovic, Tadic, all the itches. All, yeah. all the itches. Eh? The so itch they'll come a... looking for a point. Okay, and then the, will Bale play? Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's what, that's what they need. He's a great player. Albania, Israel. Yeah, I like Albania. You know, I was impressed with them in the Euros. Hmm. They, you know, started off a little bit inexperienced. And they, uh, they beat Romania. Started the group off well. They third with an, an Israel of fourth. You know, same points. And the same group as Spain and Italy. So it's a game they've both got to win. Both got to win, yeah. 
So sure. I'm the two, I like Albania. Ukraine, three yeah. to ten. Yeah, Finland, for, ten to yeah, one. Poor side, Finland. Ukraine at home. They're third in the group. Must Finland win game. and Bave, you should get together. <laughs> 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 okay, Bulgaria, Belarus. Yeah, two struggling teams. Bulgaria, yeah. the better team of the two. Yeah, I'd expect Bulgaria to get a result. Okay, and then Greece against Bosnia Herzegovina. Yeah, I like Greece, Paul. They've come right. They've won all three group games. It was a friendly match a couple of months ago. They played Holland in Holland and they beat them comfortably. So they've got ability. So they've come back, yeah. Remember they won the, the European they won the Euros, Cup. Yeah, yeah, they won the Euros some time back. So maybe Greece are coming back. Well done to them. Hope the economy does too. Well, that was the uh, the games that weren't or aren't going to be played in South Africa. And what's interesting about this, we've got five sets of games coming up from the African continent. Every single one of them is important as a qualifier budge now. Yeah. Every group, there's five groups of four. Yep. The, only the winning team in that group yeah, only the goes room. through. Yep. So that's very We've tough. only got five teams now in the World Cup. So it's only the group winners. Yeah, only the group winners. So for five to go through, let's go through the first game. But just look mm -hmm. to be an interesting game. This is Group A. Now bear in mind, as Bud just said, the ones with the little, uh, in parenthesis, is the amount of points they have now. Tunisia have three. The Democratic. Uh, Kratic uh, Republic of Congo is three, and again, Guinea and Libya have none. Mm. So, Budge, Libya go into their first game here at 11 to 2 to try to beat Tunisia. Tunisia 6 to 10 away? Yeah, Paul, I think the draws are a big plan in a lot of these games this weekend. You know, Libya fired their coach after they lost 4 0 to the DRC. Okay. So you know, so you never know who's going to be coaching them, but at home you'd expect them to be well organized. Tunisia, North African team. But it's a big week for them. Yeah, if they can get a result, especially away from home, put them in the driving seat. Yeah, if Tunisia win, now six points will be looking good. But Guinea and uh, Congo? Mm. Well, I like the DRC. We've yeah. faced them a lot. That's Balassi and all those guys. Yeah. They've got some good players. You know, yeah. Who's Guinea, Balassi with now? Palace? Everton. No, Everton. He moved. The guy who scored uh, Umbakani. I think he okay. scored the winner for Hull on the weekend. Okay. Now they've got players. Bakumbi they've from always been, they've, DRC's always been a strong yeah. side. So, Bert, I'm going to ask you at this stage, who would you tip to win that group? That uh, DRC. DRC to go through to the, to the World Cup. Okay. They're now Group B. Interesting. Against good teams. This, to me, is the toughest oh, group, Budge. Just have a look at them on the no, screen here. big teams in this. So, so Nigeria have got their foot in the door early because yeah. they, they, they obviously beat Zambia. Mm -hmm. Now they're at home to Algeria. What do you think? Draw. Yeah. You know, it's just one of these. Yeah, Nigeria got Iwobi for Arsenal. They've got yeah. Ian Itchy from player. Man City. They good stacked players. Moses, Mikel, that Ahmed Musa from Leicester. They've got plenty of attacking prowess. But in defence, they were hanging on against Zambia in the last game. Is that right? But at home, you, know, you never know the pressure of these Nigerians at home. Algeria, you know, it was a bad result drawing at home with Cameroon. Yeah. You know, they've got Maritz, Slomani, also a good team. But this will be tactical and tight, I think. Tight yeah. game. So the draw looks your bit. Yeah. Then the Cameroon uh, against Zambia. Zambia. Yeah, I think Cameroon's the best bet in the African, in the continent this weekend, the World Cup qualifiers. Okay. It'll be too good for Zambia. Will they qualify though? Will they head this group? Or will well, Nigeria you know who the next two games are. You know, They've got Algeria a, were the favourites. How many times they play each other? Twice? Yeah, how many away? So, that's, so that's the, this group, group that. I'm just going to ring who you think will go through. You went DR, I know it's early, DR, yeah, DRC. I like now, Algeria. Nigeria. Algeria. You like Algeria to go yeah. through? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's go to Group C now, Budge. Very yeah. interesting. And we've got Mali Sul against Gabon. <laughs> and uh, what do you think, Mali? Well, the Mali game was on, and they were one nil up against the Ivory Coast until the ball got crossed in from the right, the left wing. And the guy own goal. And then the whole game changed and Ivory Coast killed them. Hard to beat at home, Mali. Gabon have been disappointing, especially away from home. Yeah. They've got Aubameyang, Africa's Pro of the Year, the guy that plays centre forward for Dortmund. But away from home, they've been struggling. So Yeah, so it's a I'm tough on, game? Yeah, tough game, but I like Mali of the two teams. Okay, and then Morocco versus Ivory Coast. If one of these two teams will, will qualify, or will be the team that qualifies. Ivory Coast, the centre-half Eric Bailey or Bailly, yeah. pace of Man United, he's out. Away from home, they've been inconsistent. A draw written all over that one, yeah. To go through? To go through Ivory Coast. Okay, I'm just ringing that. All right, Group D. Now, this is interesting because it's got uh, the boys, Bafana Bafana, who got a draw in their first game. They obviously drew with Burkina Faso. Now they're at home to Senegal. Where do they play in that game? It's St. Petersburg, Polokwane. Are they playing in Polokwane? Yeah, 3 o'clock Saturday, yeah. 3 o'clock Saturday, Polokwane against Senegal. 
We are just about joint favourites on this game, 18 to 10. Yeah. What do you think? I like Senegal. Can I have that again? <laughs> yeah, Why do team. you like Senegal? Well, that's good Marnie's team. up front. They've got Coyote from, from uh, West Ham. Now, the centre-half, Koulibaly, Chelsea, that's the centre-half Chelsea offered 53 million to Napoli for. So they stacked all over the pitch, the Senegal team. We don't score goals at home. Yeah. That, yeah, that's and that's so my true. concern. We don't will, score any will goals. Will we have all our key players back? Well, if they're not back for the World Cup qualifiers, Paul, you never know. You don't know who arrives and who hasn't arrived. But we, at home, we seem to panic. Away from home, the pressure seems to be off. Uh, if we had to win, yeah. great win. Superb. Superb win for the well, competition. That's the team we've got to beat to get through. They're so the best team. Senegal, the best team in the group. Yeah, by a long and, way. And they, they would be your team to go that's, through. Yeah. So for us to go to the World Cup, we've, we've got, got to beat, win this game. We've yeah. got to beat Senegal. Eh? Yeah. So that's interesting. We'll keep an eye on that. Three o'clock Saturday Three in, o'clock in Saturday. Petersburg. Yeah. Okay, the last group is Group E. Now, this is an interesting group too because there's some decent sides in here. And here this, on the screen, mm-hmm. Uganda favourite to beat Congo. Now, this is Congo and Brazzaville and that, yeah. that bunch. They're nowhere near as good as DRC. No. How do you see this top Well, game? Uganda drew in Ghana, first game. They drew 0-0 in Ghana, which is a superb result. Is that right? Yeah, they're hard to beat at home. I think they've won nine and drawn two of the last 11 World Cup qualifiers, African qualifiers. Hard to beat. I like them this week, the Cranes. And then Egypt versus Ghana. Sure. Well, one of those two will go through. Oh, not Uganda, right? No. Now, interesting that the, the World Cup qualifiers for Brazil, they met in the playoff round. Yes. That was when Bob Bradley was their coach. Okay. Ghana beat them 6-1 at home in the first leg, and that was him gone. You know, Ghana, bad result at home, drawing with Uganda. You know, Egypt's at Mohamed Salah. They've got a couple of good players, the yes. Roma centre forward. This will be a close game, Paul. To go through from the group? Hopefully Ghana. Hopefully Ghana. Okay, Ghana with the wind. Yeah. Right, but now it comes to punting time. And, and uh, soccer six. Let's go first into soccer six. Yeah. We've got a few. And... Uh, but uh, you can tell us what you've gone well, for. Well, I've gone a banker with... No I South think, Africa when you're gone. I don't think... Uh, not in the soccer section. You know, we've gone one banker with five one and twos. I think Senegal, to me, are the favourites. So I've gone Senegal in the draw. Uganda in the draw against Congo, Brazzaville. So Love, Congo, you could pull a draw. Yeah, I've gone... You know, we can... We have... You know, we can allocate that because we have you know, 200 rand to spend. I've yeah. banked Cameroon. Of all the games in Africa, I think that's the best bet. Nigeria, Algeria, I've got Nigeria in the draw. And, 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 and you still think Algeria's going to win the group? Yeah, I think this game will okay. be a draw. At home, okay. it'll be. Yeah, there's Cameroon in it as well, but I think okay. they'll take Cape points off Verde, themselves. Cape Verde at home, good home form. I think give them the draw with, uh, with Burkina, Burkina Faso. Faso and yeah. Morocco, Ivory Coast, I've got Morocco in the draw. Okay, so we've got 192 rand. That's yeah. our first soccer six. Let's look at the second soccer six. Okay. Now, the second one is obviously the international one. I've gone one, two, three, the Austria Republic of Ireland game. Okay. Croatia, Arsenal. We've got two better bankers, so I've thrown the draw in with Croatia. I think Georgia will be too good for Moldova. As much as I like Albania to beat Israel, you know, we can throw the draw in with Albania. Yeah. Wales, Serbia is a close game. I've gone one, two, and three, and I've banked Ukraine to beat Finland. Two one six, yeah. right? Two soccer sixes. Now it gets more difficult, Budge. Yeah. I and mean, we on This is the first sheet in the soccer yeah. ten. This is as you say. I've gone one, two, and three. Yeah. You know, we've got four bankers, three, one, and two, and three fields. You know, one, two, or three. I've gone with South Africa. I've banked Uganda to beat Congo Brazzaville. I've gone one and two Millwall against Bristol Rovers. They're hard to beat at home. Bristol Ro- uh, Millwall, sorry. Bristol Rovers are going well, but so are Millwall at home. Shrewsbury Town. Yeah, uh, bottom of the league, struggling. Oxford on going much better, the but they slightly boys. better yeah. better side. I bank at Cameroon to beat Zambia. Okay, page two, here we go. Yeah, Nigeria, Algeria is a one, two, three game. Cape Verde, I've gone one and two. I've banked Mali to beat Gabon. Morocco, Ivory Coast, you know, it's a one, two, three game. Now the last game, I don't know where they get that Solomon game from. Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands against the Hiti. It's an uh, Oceana. Oh, yes, yeah. That's uh, Australia's group in that. Yeah. yeah, they played on Tuesday night. Tahiti beat them. Solomon Islands haven't won in their last six. Okay. So it, it's a reach, but you Tahiti. Know, Tahiti are the better team of the two. Okay, let's have a look at soccer 13. Now, now it gets even tougher, but yeah. here's where the money lies. Yeah, you know, I've gone Croatia in the draw with Arsenal. I just like the fight in Arsenal. They always score, so they're yeah. always competitive. I've banked Turkey to beat Kosovo. Ukraine to beat Finland, Georgia to beat Moldova. I've gone Austria in the draw against the Republic of Ireland. I've gone Wales in the draw with Serbia. Albania in the draw against Israel. Right. Spain. Yeah. Spain. They've played Shoot. 51 World Cup qualifying games. How many do you think they've lost? Lost? Yeah. Three. 
None. They've drawn three, one forty-eight. Jeez, <laughs> Spain. Spain, yeah. Okay. So they'll be, be too strong for, okay. for Champions Macedonia. League. Is that Champions League? No, that's League One. League One. Now Bradford unbeaten at home, but they've yeah. drawn five of the eight games. Rochdale going well, but I fancy Bradford the two teams. Scunthorpe top of the league. Coventry best defensive home record, but Scunthorpe are three points clear in League One. Okay. So we can you know, throw the drawing with there. Gillingham, Northampton, both you know, inconsistent teams, but of the two, I like Northampton. MK Don's really struggling. Can't win at home. Walsall, better, better team of the two. I've gone two and three. And the last game, I think AFC Wimbledon will be too good for Oldham. Okay, that's. Uh, is that the lot? Yeah, that's the two. Now, Budge, what are your bets this week? Yeah. Let's yeah. see your bets. I haven't got Yeah, it's been a bit of a mixed case. bag. You know, I've taken the treble. Cameroon to win, okay. you know, that, to beat Zambia. Then both teams to score in the Cape Verde Burkina Faso game and the Guinea DRC game. That works out at 1,300 to 2. Then I've gone over two and a half goals in all of the, ne all the next four games. Austria, Republic of Ireland, Luxembourg against Netherlands, Switzerland against the Faroe Islands, and Spain, Macedonia. Yeah, okay, 1,100 to yeah, 2. That's a nice bet. Then I've gone both teams to score. I've gone England, Scotland. Yeah, I think the Scots will get grab one there. Austria, Austria Ireland, Ireland. Which Ireland is that? That's Republic of Ireland. Okay. You know. And uh, Croatia, Iceland. You asked them. They 1800 to two. Yeah, I thought the nice odds bet. were very you know, yeah. generous. Hopefully they don't know something. And yeah. then we took two doubles. One's the league one. I took AFC Wimbledon to beat Oldham and Port Vale to beat Fleetwood, 1100 to 200. And then Greece, Albania, 900 oh, to 200. And, you know, Greece are playing Bosnia at home. These are World Cup qualifiers. And Both I, those teams have yeah, to win. And uh, Albania to beat Israel. Yeah. Okay, so interesting football, and yeah, uh, the locals have to watch that game oh. on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Well, I think everybody will, I'll even yeah. I'll watch it, so yeah, we just hope we perform, just yeah. hope we don't concede early, otherwise the writing will be on the wall. Yeah, so we've got to get in there. Well, there we go, those, uh, those are the bets for this weekend. Don't forget, we're getting a nice kitty up, we're getting our results. Have a good look at Budge's bets, and we'll see you next week.